Hi there, welcome to Elm Colors, I'm Erica. On today's video, I am going to be showing you all of my completed pages and a few whips from my mythographic books. Uh, I've really enjoyed doing these videos as series and I thought that this would be an appropriate next series for you guys. So, I'm gonna try to go in order as best I can. I think that I have them in the right order, but if they're not, then you know, it's not that big of a deal, I guess, but it's just <laughs> for my sanity, This I thought this was the better way to go. So the first one is Mythographic Animals. This is by Joseph Kattenbang. And uh, I was so excited when I, when I saw this book. I thought it was the coolest thing. And of course, I only have one completed page and I don't, <laughs> I don't hate it, but I don't love it. So that kind of put me off finishing anything else in here. So this is the completed page I have. Uh, you can see that I have tried to add in some shimmery watercolor in the background and I just, I do not like the way that it looks. So I really do like the way the gorilla turned out and all of the greenery and stuff. I just, the background kills me. Um, but then everything else in this book that I have is things that are started and not finished, of course. So I've got a lot of things where I've gone through and done like a watercolor um, base on things. As you can see, there's another swath of color. Again, yeah, and I like to use watercolors. I do have a few notes kind of here and there as well for what I want to do eventually. But so this one is almost done. Like all, all it needs is a, a little bit of shading, maybe a little bit of a background. There's a few hidden objects that need some coloring, but I did the majority of this with watercolors and it, and it goes fast. This one was done with um, just water-based markers. And that's really good if you want like a bright, fun look to these. I just have to, just have to finish. <laughs> This book is has so many whips. This is it's like a Kirby book in that aspect because I have so many that I've started that I just haven't gone back to finish. There's another one that is almost done, just almost. Oh, and then I it, uh, this was the first page that I did, and I did this all with pencil. And then when I was done, I said I'm never doing a whole one of those with pencils again because it took me forever to finish this. I forgot that I had finished this front cover. Um, but I think I, no, I was going to say, I think I based the colors off the front, but I really didn't. I just kind of, I think I might've used that as reference because sometimes with the Joseph Kattenbing books, it's hard to tell what things are when you're starting out coloring. Um, so I did use the front as a reference for that, but, but yeah, so there is that. The next one I have is Imagine. Uh, this is another one by Joseph Kattenbang. And I have done a couple in here, I think. So the first one I ever did was this one. And it, I was I had taken it out of the book because I was going to send it to a friend of mine. Um, and then that didn't happen. So uh, <laughs> anyway, so on this one, I used some alcohol markers. So you can see and that went a lot faster. And I love that these are double-sided so that you can use the alcohol markers. Um, but yeah, that's it. I, I like that. And I think that there's only one other one in here that I've finished. So many I would love to do, uh, but this is the other one that I did. I really like how this one turned out too. This was a super fun one to do. I'm hoping that you guys can see some of the shimmer from, I have like this popsicle is coated with, um, Oh, what was the, the Nouveau Glimmer? What are these? These ones, the Wink of Stella, not Nouveau. Why did I say that? Um, but yeah, this popsicle is coated with that. So it's super sparkly. And then of course I've got silver gel pen on things. I've got uh, a silver Wink of Stella on some of the bigger snowflakes. Um, and then this is the first time that I really, I think this might be my only polar bear actually. Um, but I, I wanted to not just do the polar bears white. So there's pink and blue and cream and white and gray all kind of mixed together. And then my seals have pink, either a pink tone or a blue tone. Uh, I don't know if that really comes across, but I had a lot of fun doing those too. 
Um, I don't think I have anything else in here. I think I have pages marked that I would like to color, but yeah, I think that's it. All right. So in aquatic, this is one that I, um, have not colored in. <laughs> This is one that I have um, several pages marked to color in. Hopefully I will get a chance to color in this for um, Mermaid. I have that one that I really like. Um, this one I thought was so interesting and cool. It'd just be really fun to do all the light reflections. Uh, I have this one started. This was a <laughs> This was a buddy color with Emma Colors 2020 that we both were just like, nope, we can't. <laughs> can't do it but I got this far I don't think she even started hers <laughs> uh, and this is the other one I want to color so so there is aquatic um, so the next one I have is Odyssey and I do have a completed page in here and so many I want to do in this book but I do have a buddy color in this book this month so I'm excited for that get my finished page here I did this one. This is a color along on the channel. So if you're interested, this is my first ever color along. Um, yeah, and I, I had a lot of fun doing it. There's a lot of pencil, but there's also like water-based marker and stuff down at the bottom here. And yeah, just had a lot of fun with this. Um, and then I don't know if I can... Where's the page? Yeah, this is the one that I've got coming up as a buddy color. So super excited for that one. This is one my son wanted me to color, so it's still marked. But yeah, this book is, this is probably my favorite of all of his earlier books. Um, just because I like the, the myths and the, I mean, the artwork is stunning, of course, in all of them. But I just really love, I love I mean, you guys know that I'm a big old nerd. I like anything mythical, magical, all of the above. Okay, so then we get to um, Fabiana Asanasio. I think this was her first book. I'm not positive, but I think. Uh, she had several come out in 2021. No, 2020? Oh, this one's 2020. Let me see this one, the next one. Oh, yeah, several come out in 2020. Um, so Paradise was one of them. Uh, and I have, I think, I know I have one done in here. So I have this unicorn, which this one was a recent completion and I really liked it. I used a lot of alcohol markers and um, stickles and silver sparkle pop pen. And yeah, just really, really love that one. And then I do have... I know I have something. There we go. So I have this one. This is also a color along on the channel. Uh, and I tried to use alcohol markers in the beginning, and I didn't really like the way that it looked on the elephant. So then I went in and did his face with colored pencil. Uh, and I think this was a background with Crayola, which I'm not going to recommend because <laughs> Crayolas are a pain to, yeah, to do in the background. So, was there another one I had? I thought I had another one started in here, but maybe not. And then I've got um, this one started. So, that's just a, with a watercolor base. I think I might have used, like, um, markers on a palette and then just picked up the color with my water brush and painted it on. So, that is Mythographic Paradise. The next one is Enchanted Castles, and I do have several whips in here and one completed page and my completed page is this one this was one you guys voted on for me to finish uh and i really i do like the way that it ended up looking i tried to i think i did um well i thought i used a copic marker in the background but maybe it was a water-based marker uh and the it immediately resisted the white Posca to cover up the hidden images. So I don't know if the light will hit it, but you can see several of those images if the light is reflecting because the color pencil I use is now reflecting that light back at me. But um, I do like the way it turned out. I had fun um, with the lightning because I put all that gold um, stickles on it. Uh, the bats were fun to do. 
tried to make sure I had like a few of them that had a little bit of yellow on them some from from the lightning so I liked that one let me see I know I have a couple whips in here um, I've got this one I think I started this one this one was in one of my videos about how I cover up the images in the books um, and I was using Black Widow pencils to do the lava and I have not gone back. But thankfully, I have written down what I used because this is a cool picture. Same with this one. This one was another one where I was going over um, the, the hidden objects with colored pencil. Um, and I have several marked. This is another one that is it's almost done. I just have to finish this side and color a few of the hidden objects. It's such a pretty image too. I just need to, I need to get it done. Um, and then this one is the other whip that I am working on. I have my pencils pulled. Uh, I really do want to finish this because it's going to be really pretty when it's all done. It's just getting to that point. I do have that one set aside so that I can you know, with the pencils and everything so that I can, if I'm feeling in the mood for it, I can just like pull it out on my desk and get to work. Um, so this is another one by Fabiana Atanasio. This is Dream Garden. I think I have a couple of images finished in this one. And of course, so many in this one that I want to do, but those hidden objects, man, they drive me crazy. So I have a couple of pages where I've gone through and whited out the hidden objects already. So like this was one that I really thought was an interesting page. So I went ahead and whited out all of those. I really want to color this one. I have to go through and white out the images on that one though. This one I love. This one I love. There's so many good ones in this book. Um, this is when I started. Another one I started here. And then the one I have finished is this one. This one was a color along um, with, uh, on Instagram uh, for Tavorna, she, Danielle, she, um, she picked out this page and she was even kind enough to remove all of the hidden objects. Uh, so if you wanted to digitally print it out, you could do that without having to worry about all of the hidden stuff. Um, but I like to, most of the time I like to keep my pages in my books um, if I can. So there's that one. I really do like the way this one turned out. And I used um, Arteza and a brand called Artlicious, which I wasn't expecting to do as well as it did. And I really just love the way that this page turned out. Um, and so, yeah, that is it in Dream Garden. Frozen Fantasies. I do have one finished page in here. I don't think I have any whips. This is one I wanted to color. Here is my finished page my colorful giraffes. I thought these guys were so, so cute. Um, yeah, I used, I think this is another one where I used the Artlicious pencils and I don't remember what other ones, but the background, I looked at the front cover and drew some inspiration from that and tried to get my sky to be, I mean, not exactly that, but I definitely used the colors and wanted to make sure that it was like a magical looking sky. And then I've got like this, I don't know, some kind of shimmer paste or something on my, all of my icebergs, glitter pen everywhere. It's just a super sparkly, fun page. This one was one where I was like really trying to channel my inner coloring with K. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there's that one. I don't think I have anything else done in this one. I, there's so many that I want to color in these books and I just, every time I look at them, it just makes me sad. This one is, um, a newer book. I, I am still on the fence about this one. I have not colored anything yet. I do have one page marked that I would like to try to color. There's just so many tiny little things in here that I just, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I might get in there and try it and then just be like completely overwhelmed. But I do like that page. So we'll see about that one. And then the last one and most recent one is Wild Winter. And I don't think this one is gonna be on the channel hopefully soon. I don't think I have anything done in here. 
no. But this is a, a new book from Joseph Katzenbang. So again, this is back to um, very limited hidden objects. Um, and if there are some, they kind of make sense. So this book is just stunningly beautiful. His artwork is, is getting better and better. Uh, and then there are several books that are coming out this year. So that's going to be, that's going to be really awesome to see. Um, I think he has a couple and then Fabiana has one. Um, so yeah, just super excited. This, this series, even though I don't have too many finished pages, it's one of my favorite series because I can just look at the artwork and just, I don't, it's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So that is all of my mythographic pages and a few whips there. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that today. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.